Hello, as you can see I've set up a car rig in 3D Studio Max with automatically um, spinning wheels. The car is following along a path. The wheels also have a look at constraint which is looking ahead of the path and I can manually adjust the look at constraint as well. I've also got a drift controller in the back. It automatically has a path constraint on the purple path and so it's easy to set up some nice drifting animations. Problem is if I want to export it into CryEngine 3 I have to select every geometry I have, every moving part and export it as an Autodesk FBX file. Make sure smoothing groups is turned on as well as tangents and denormals and in the animation tab make sure animation is ticked on and bake animation and resample all. I also unchecked deformations and curve filters. You have to do that for every moving part on your rig. Export selected as FBX. I'm going to jump ahead now. I've done this now for, for all the moving parts and now I create a new scene in Max. Into this new scene I want to re-import all the FBX files I exported recently. Make sure when you import the smoothing groups is ticked on and the animation tab is also ticked on. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm doing that now for all the FBX files I've exported. I import them now into my scene. Okay, here we go. As you can see in the bottom there are a lot of keyframes for each frame but the animation is still playing correctly. But now I have lost the paths and the uh, options to change the animation. It's now baked into the controllers. CryEngine only accepts animation controllers called TCB. So I now have to go to the controllers, which still have the animation data on them, now baked into them, and change the controller type for each of the controllers to TCB. Assign controller TCB position. Now go to rotation, assign controller TCB rotation. Choose the next controller, assign controller TCB, and assign controller TCB rotation. I'm skipping ahead now. I've done this for every controller. Animation still works. Now I've selected the main controller on the top of the hierarchy. Go to CryEngine 3 Exporter. Add the selected controller. I only need this one. And switch to Animated Geometry in the format. I'll choose a custom file name because I don't want to overwrite my old car to something new. You also have to save the max file before you can export this nodes into the same directory. Okay, now 
can I, I can click on export notes it gives me some warnings because I don't have the material in this new Mac scene it's still in the old scene but uh, but it's done anyway it exported the mesh now now I also want to export the animation for CGA export notes and done Okay, now we can switch to CryEngine Editor, Sandbox, go to Geom, Geom Entity, pick your exported mesh, now it's missing the shader, here we go, now turn on the Character Editor, go to File, Open, Select your exported file. And if you now click on default, you will see the animation playing. And it's all playing correctly. The wheels are turning as they were before in the max file. Now we want to see that the same animation in game, so go to flow graph, create, OK. And we need we need a new node. One is called start, which can be found under the game folder, and the other is called play animation, which can be found in the animations folder. Now we have to connect the output from the start node to the start of the play animation node. Assign the selected entity, which is my car and choose the right animation, which is named default here. And if I now click on AI Physics, I can see the animation playing in the sandbox editor in the game. You can also see it when you hit Ctrl G, then the animation will also play.